ബിഫോർ എപ്പിഫണി ജനുവരി തേർഡ് റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ ഓപ്ഷണൽ മെമ്മോറിയൽ ഹോളി നെയിം ഓഫ് ജീസസ് ജീസസ് നെയിം ദ മീനിങ് ഓഫ് ജീസസ് ഇസ് യോഷുവ യോഷുവ മീൻസ് ഗോഡ് സേവ്സ് ദിസ് വാസ് ഗിവൺ ടു അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു മാത്യു ഗോസ്പൽ ടു ജോസഫ് ഇൻ എ ഡ്രീം ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ലുക്സ് ഗോസ്പൽ ടു മേരി എൻജൽ ഗേബ്രിയൽ നെയിമിങ് എ ചൈൽഡ് നെയിമിങ് എ പേഴ്സൺ biblically has a deep meaning my dear friends it it is connected to the calling who you are so jesus is the savior god saves that's the power of his name and this devotion of holy name is deeply rooted in the sacred scriptures especially in the acts of the apostles i don't have gold or silver but in the name of jesus you rise up and walk the first miracle was done there and also specially it was prom- prompted in a special manner by saint bernard saint meditating or cecilia and john ciprinto and by the franciscan order it was extended to the whole church in 1727 during the pontificate of innocent the 13th the month of january was traditionally been dedicated to the holy name of jesus god saves and today the gospel my dear friends the next day john saw jesus coming towards him and said behold the lamb of god who take away the sin of the world and that's how exactly how he is going to save the world lamb of god this image of a lamb was in the old testament especially exodus exodus 12 which onwards how they were captured in egypt and in that in that redemption process how pharaoh was stubborn and the first born was killed as a plague and the lord the odds angel asked all the israelites to kill a lamb and apply blood the dove and eat that flesh of the lamb that's the paschal mystery how that lamb was killed to save the people from captivity every passover they were they were they were doing this sacrifice killing a lamb and now jesus became that lamb became the ransom who became who became that that sacrifice was slain on the cross once and for all and we are all saved because of him that's the name that's the very name of jesus god saves and in the first reading beautifully says see that the kind of love the father has given to us that we should be called children of god we were slaves and now we have become adopted children because of the blood of that lamb because of that bloody sacrifice the connection was brought with with the termination of that lamb jesus and we became all children adopted though the reason why the whole world does not know us is that it did not know him knowing they don't the world does didn't know him so they don't know us beloved we are god's children now and what we will we will be as not yet appeared but we know that when he appears we shall be like him because we shall see him as he is this lamb who was slain was brought back to us brought back brought back us to that connection and we are connected we became child children of god heir of god and one day we are going to be one with him that is the power of that sacrifice i said after this is he of whom i said after me comes the man who ranks before me this is how the omnipotence of god omnipresence of god he is before john and after john he is beyond time and space the john is directing them to jesus I myself did not know him but for this purpose I came 
baptizing with water that he might be revealed to Israel so even John the Baptist never knew him he was baptizing him people preparing the way and John bore witness i saw the spirit descend from heaven like a dove and it remained on him i myself did not know him but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me he whom you see the scripture spirit descends and remains that is that is he who baptizes with the holy spirit and i have seen and i have become witness to this this is the that this is the son of god so john even john didn't know because jesus is his cousin so in in the spirit john had the direction the dove the spirit who descend upon this person and waiting is the christ and that's exactly how john saw him identified him so we need that anointing my dear friends we need that anointing to identify jesus among, among us we need that anointing to see him and believe him so that we need jesus the name jesus as a power in my life my personal captivity my personal personal addictions my personal attachments i need to overcome believing the word of jesus john the baptist prepared the way and here here comes jesus who is baptizing us with water with 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 fire and the holy spirit the true transformation would happen with his baptism the power power of precious blood because we are children of god my dear friends all those who sin according to john chapter 8 verse verse 34 all those who are sinning they are they are not children they are slaves to sin a slave does not have a right in the house a son will have that right but then if that son saves the slave he is completely saved that's we that's why we need this power of the word jesus jesus you are sure god saves just believe take this day as a special day where you experience this power the name jesus pronounce it with meaning with belief lisp lisp that word and murmur that word jesus because he is that lamb who was slain because of you and now you are back in that appearance god children now and what we will be has not yet appeared and we'll be like him completely everyone who marks makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness lawlessness sin is lawlessness you know that he appeared in order to take away sins and in him there is no sin no one who abides him keeps on sinning no one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him so if you know him you won't sin so you are what for what you should strive to just to see him strive for that connection so that the blood of jesus will give power the name of jesus will give strength to overcome all the addictions and you will be free no captivity no enslavement can rule you because the word jesus the name jesus is above all all the powers of the world is above the sovereign god who is above everything and everyone every force just have that power in your life with a simple word jesus amen may god bless you